Rahim, Atiullah, Ya Rasulullah, Amri Minkum. And uh, always a reminder for myself, an abdukul aji so da'ifu, miskeen, uzan, jahal, and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah gave us the life to enter into the holy month of Shabban and coming now into the holy month of Ramadan inshaAllah by Tuesday, Wednesday they see the moon and will begin to give us direction on when to start the fast inshaAllah. And always a reminder that Ramadan is an immense reset an immense opening in, in spirituality that Allah gives us an opportunity to be washed clean. And the gates of Rahmah and the opening of mercy are the first 10 days of Ramadan in which allows the servant to even enter into that blessing. For anyone who tries to fast voluntarily they see how difficult fasting is and, and all of the, the energy against the nafs and nafs fighting back and it's Allah's mercy that He opens the gate of rahmah in the first 10 days so that people can enter into that reality and enter into these oceans of for, forgiveness and the oceans to clean away the fire of sins and bad character that is a Ramadan based on all our senses. The Ramadan of hearing in which we fast with our hearing and try not to hear that which is of no value to the soul, fasting with our eyes and keeping the nazar and the gaze upon our path. That the eyes to be continuously looking for what I'm doing is based on my path and to take me to the outcome that I'm trying to achieve. We said before that we write the last chapter first. Is that what I want to achieve in life Ya Rabbi with my soul and with my spirituality and that should determine the entire path and direction and the course in which I take my life. If we have a clear ending chapter then everything and every choice that we make to fulfill that last chapter we write the book based on its ending. So then our book becomes much clearer, every chapter of my life then should be towards that final chapter and the ending of that book. We fast with our ears on what we hear, fast with our eyes on what we see, fast with the breath and the power of the breath. As Salaamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. and the reality of Divine Power and that our life is a breath away. All that we plan for our life and all that we, we plan for, for the years to come, all of it is based on one breath. So all the planning in the world can't help you if Allah only gives you one more breath. So our life is between these two breaths, the one that you breathe in and the one that you breathe out. For if Allah says, you know, this is it. And only Allah knows how many breaths He gave to a servant. They can make all the preparations they want but if they can't… <coughs> if Allah wrote for them not a breath, there's not a machine, there's not a device, there's not an entire nation can put you back to breathing if Allah determined that you're not going to breathe another breath. So means then fasting with our breath, being conscious of the power of the breath and that our life exists within that breath and to reach a state of consciousness and that's why the power of breathing, the power of the tafakkur and the meditation we said before and, and so many people have this issue of how to cut the past, how to cut the sadness of depression that's causing 
the thought of all past issues in their lives and how to cut the anxiety of the future. That what does the future hold and what's going to happen and how everything is going to come and the, the danger of that anxiety and that has to do with the power of the breath. For if we truly can fight the anxiety of the future and cut the depression from the past and the issues of the past, we live within that moment and that breath, that meditation, that day releases its power and its bounty upon the soul. So Ramadan is a, is a great reset because of the fasting, because the fasting burns the nafs so bad burns shaitan so bad, we have all the time to contemplate. So it's an immense opportunity to think of our lives and think of the moment and meditate for Divine power and Divine grace and that Allah cleanse us of the wrongs and that purify us and perfect our faith and perfect the light. And fasting with our sense of touch. And the realities of uh, sensitivity to touch to make the heart more sensitive to its energies and to its realities. That when we take our life fast and eating and enjoying, the sense of touch, touch becomes overlooked and you become more sensitive in your state of fasting. Whether your body's more sensitive to pain and to, to everything that it's feeling as a result of the food not moving through, waters and drink not moving through the body. So the body becomes hyper alert at that time. So all of the senses are being activated and the highest sense, the sense of taste. So not only the, the taste from abstinence of food but the importance of that reality of taste that to open the doors of compassion. That if I'm struggling for these 30 days and for this day and for this hour waiting for my iftar time to eat, what about all the people whom Ramadan seems to be perpetual for them means they don't have food. They struggle to find food to eat in the morning, they, they struggle to even, even eat at night with hunger within their stomach and to sleep in a state of hunger which they say the, the most difficult torment is a torment of hunger. So the, the ocean of hunger is a tremendous difficulty upon the soul and the souls and, and the reality upon people. So it opens a tremendous state of compassion and that we hope and pray that Allah make us to be very compassionate and come out more compassionate as a result of Ramadan to be sensitive to people's needs especially those of uh, a lesser ability and need of hunger and, and provision. That we come out to be a nation that cares and takes care of our brothers and sisters and to relieve their state of hunger where we can inshaAllah. We pray that Allah open the gates of rahmah and to allow us our entry into the holy month of Ramadan with all its immense blessings and all its love under the guidance and nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad and his holy companions and holy family. All the awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard from the heavens into the earth. Subhan rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.